Hey guys, it's me, Rox. I wanted to jump on here and just talk to you guys about masks for a minute because a lot of us are kind of getting back into the groove of work or going out into public and we're having to wear masks pretty much everywhere we go and it's causing some skin issues. So, also some lipstick issues, <laughs> if we're being honest. So, let's talk masks for a minute. Um, my husband and I are not using the ear masks that wrap around your ears. We are using like scarf masks um, from SA Company that pull up. Um, you can put them over your ears. Sometimes they're tight enough to, to just kind of stay around your face. Um, my face is not big enough and so I have to pull mine up over my ears. They have been the most comfortable thing that I have found. I don't know that they help any more or any less than the other masks, but it is what it is and we are wearing our mask when we are out in closed public spaces. So, one of the things to start with is don't share your mask with anybody. And I know that might seem like, well, duh, but I had to go run to the store the other day and I got there and realized that I did not have my mask in the car. And so my husband was sitting right there. I pulled it up over my face, went in. I was in that store for maybe five minutes. The next morning, I had breakouts all over my chin and all along my jawline. And it's because we have different face bacteria. And so the fact that I was like basically in his beard <laughs> for five to 10 minutes was not good to my skin. Um, and so I've been like healing from a breakout all week and that's actually what made me think like we should probably talk about this. Two, you need to be having at least two or three masks. You need enough that you can wash it every day. Just like we don't want to sleep in our makeup because ew, we don't want to wear the same makeup in the same mask the next day. That's just spreading the bacteria from one day to the next to the next and it's not good for your skin. So make sure you're wearing a fresh mask every day. Like I said, we ordered ours from SA Company. This is not an ad, by the way. I was just really impressed with the fact that like, I ordered ours in probably February before all of this blew up. And I thought I was honestly overreacting and that my anxiety was just getting in the way. And they had a deal where it was five masks for the price of one do it. Like if you can get five masks for $20, do it. <laughs> that way you're able to change them out at least every day during the work week. And then you can wash them over the weekend if you're not really like going to go anywhere. Um, so yeah, make sure that you have a fresh mask every morning because you don't, you don't want to transfer that bacteria from your face back onto your face the next day. <laughs> Gross. Um, one of the other things is that same bacteria that is getting caught up in your mask and then sinking into your skin is also going to be getting caught up in your brushes. So make sure you're using a brush cleaner. If you haven't tried Mascara's Houdini Brush Cleaner, it's amazing, it's fast, it's like dry shampoo for your brushes, but it's antibacterial and it cleans them so well and there's no waiting as far as like having to have them dry out. It's just done. Once they're clean, they're clean. You literally just spray it on the brush. You brush it onto like a rag or a paper towel and you'll watch all the stuff come off of it. And it smells really good. So make sure you're cleaning your brushes even more now than what you were doing before because the masks are just creating, like I said, more bacteria, which is then getting transferred into our brushes. We don't want it. We want to have clean faces. And if you're noticing a lot of breakouts lately, that's probably what it is. Um, then the last thing I wanted to tell you was that if you're like me and you like your lips to look really good or you have to have something on your lips at all times, the mask wearing is messing with my lip look. It's fine, it's fine. We do what we can, right? But carry a square compact with just a lip conditioner and a lip and cheek color in it so that that way when you have to have your mask on, you've at least got some lip conditioner on there and your lips are still moisturized. But when you're able to have your mask down, you can just use your little compact, put on a lip color really quick and you're good. Plus it's got a mirror in it. 
I love little compacts, but I really love our compacts because I can just put what I need for the day inside of it. Um, that's really it. If you need any, um, I'll actually link the SA Company masks down under this video so that you can find them if you want them. But a lot of the companies like Southern Fried Chicks and Old Navy and really pretty much everyone is offering their own style of masks now. So you can pretty much get them from any retail, retail store. You can look them up. It's not hard to find. Whereas like six months ago, it seemed a little crazy to be buying masks. So I'm sad that we're here, but if we have to wear them, we may as well wear them and adjust our routines and get used to them. So clean your masks, clean your brushes, make sure that you've got some lip conditioner or some good chapstick, have a mirror ready in case that lipstick smears, and stay safe. If you can, just stay home. Just stay home if you can. But if you have to go out, be safe with a mask. Love you guys, bye.